2020, pag-ibig, made 31.18 billion pesos. That's massive. But above and beyond that, in the midst of the pandemic, pag-ibig declared 93.68% earnings, which is higher than their charter, which is massively higher than what they've ever done in their entire history. So let that sink in. Hey guys, so I know over the past few weeks and even months, we've been talking a lot about cryptos, Philippine stocks, and US stocks, which are, I think, you know, my favorites in terms of where I want to deploy capital because I've seen it grow. I know what it is and I understand it the most. But I do understand also that this channel is not just about my interests. And there's a lot of you guys who have been asking what is a very, very, very safe investment that Filipinos can enter into in 2021? Please do note though that safe is a very, very relative term. What may seem safe for me may not be safe for a lot of people. Safety does not mean there's no risk. Majority of the investments that you put your money into or you deploy your capital into, there will also be inherent risk in it. But one of the ways for you to somehow lower the risk is by studying and knowing what you're getting into and that's why we have been doing a lot of those videos that the main goal and intent is just to educate you because i want you guys to think the reason why i make this channel is so that you don't buy you don't sell you don't transact just because i talk about it here i want you to analyze things on your own because i'm the type of person who doesn't want to give people fish but I want you to have the ability to have fish on your own. Fishing on your own requires the time to study, requires the time to practice, and not a lot of people like that. But to all 265,000 of you who like that, I salute you and I honor you because you are building wealth, right? Because the best way for you in order to minimize the risk is to actually study and build the right conviction. And if you've been following my videos on Bitcoin, I mentioned that I heard about Bitcoin 2013, but I first invested 2018. And I actually doubled down more during the lockdown. But that's mainly because I spent a lot of time to learn more about it. We're going to talk about some investments that are relatively considered safe. But please do note this, that the more you actually study what seems riskier to the broad majority, but because you know about it more and more and more and more, it doesn't seem to be risky anymore to you. And that's why you see a lot of those multi-billionaires, those taipans and those tycoons get massively rich. And it's not because they got lucky. I think it's mainly because also they took the time and to take a calculated risk based on their experience and their knowledge and it paid off for them. A lot of those people, even though they got rich, they made a lot of right investments. They also had a lot of wrong investments along the way. They had their share of mistakes. They lost a lot of money, which is not something that a lot of people talk about. People always talk about how Henry C. got rich or how Tony Tadkak Kyung got rich, but they all had their share of business mistakes, even Warren Buffett, even Cathie Wood, even the best investors that we know all had their share of mistakes. And the more you try to play it safe, the more you actually will also lose out on opportunities of earning. That being said also, the ones that make a lot, the ones that do well, it just actually means also that they made more right decisions than the wrong ones. It doesn't mean that they did not make any mistakes. It does not mean that any of their savings or their investments went right all the time. It just means that when they were right, they doubled down on it. When they were wrong, they either stopped it, pivoted, and made themselves better. And that's what we're going to talk about here. If you are a person who does not like any risk, we're going to talk about safe investments. However, please do remember the safer you want to go, the more you limit your upside, the safer you want to go, the more you actually need to put money in. So I think one of the safest still that people could enter into right now are digital banks, meaning they're still PDIC insured and you get a fixed interest rate. That's one of the best ways for you to come in. And I think you could get around 2.5% to 4% for that. And for those who want to be liquid and then they also want to take the money out anytime they want, I think it's a good way to go. Please do remember this. If you are really intentional in investing, 
then it would be prudent to set aside money that's really for investment. Meaning, yung lalagay mo dun, wala ka nang planong tanggalin. And the main goal of it is to actually work hard for you. I think the biggest problem of a lot of people is that when they start investing money, they just want to put it there pag kumita, tatanggalin nila. What I want you to do is shift the way you think that when you invest, it should be purely for investing. It should be something that will change your life forever. It should be something that will be for generational wealth. It should be something where your money will work hard for you. And the more you realize how important making your money is for you, the more you would not want to take your money out. Eh? The more you would not want to take your capital out. Because every time you take your capital out, it lessens your base. Every time you take your capital out, it makes what you have smaller. Every time you take your capital out, it lessens your opportunity to actually make more. I think one of the safest investments that you could enter into that will give you a higher return than digital banks. And for those who have been following me for the channel for quite some time, I've been saying this over and over, it's still Pagibig MP2. There's so many benefits for Pagibig MP2 that you won't get in any other investment. Number one, your capital is guaranteed. Eh? Meaning, you place a million pesos, that's guaranteed, that's safe. That's why I discarded it for quite some time, is I thought there was a limit. Meaning, similar to other platforms where, oh, you can only put 100,000 a year, you can only put 500,000 a year. For Pagibig MP2, the sky's the limit. You can put a million, you can put 5 million, you can put 10 million, you can put 20 million pesos. There's no limit to how much you can actually put to Pagibig MP2. But what's interesting about that also is that it's not just a pangmayaman investment. Why? Because you can also start with 500 pesos. So in my opinion, this hits every Filipino that has a Pagibig membership because you can actually start for 500 pesos, but if you have a lot of money, you can actually put millions and it's actually guaranteed. It's not just that your capital is guaranteed and it's safe. Zero tax. Where can you get that? When you trade the stock market, every time you buy and sell, there's sales tax attached to it. Every time you get dividends, 10% is withheld already right from the get. If you get bonds, even digital banks, even savings accounts, ganun din. You get 20% already gets withheld from your position. So you don't actually get to maximize it. And that's why I believe Pag-ibig MP2 becomes a massively superior product compared to those other fixed asset instruments. And you compare it to a corporate bond. Think about it. When you when you go the corporate bond route right now, you'll probably get 3%. You'll probably get 4%. Less 20% tax pa. Then you get even lesser. But the thing about that is this, eh, when you enter the corporate bond route, pwede mag-default yan. The company can go bankrupt. The company can say that they cannot pay their debts anymore. No matter how big the company is, you're also at a disadvantage. That's not the case for Pag-ibig MP2 where your capital is guaranteed. In Pag-ibig MP2, it's only the capital that you put in that's guaranteed. Your earnings is not. So for those who have not watched my Pag-ibig MP2 videos, check it out here. You earn from Pag-ibig MP2 via the dividends that they give. And the dividends that they give is highly dependent on their earnings. Meaning, the more they actually earn, the more you actually get. And that's why it differs from time to time. Because on years where they will earn more, then they actually have the ability to also pay you more. On years where they're not really earning more, then the dividends that they could possibly give you is lesser. I mentioned earlier that they make money from loans. When people borrow, pumiram ka sa pag-ibig para bumili ka ng bahay, magbabayad ka ng loan, kumikita sila doon. 2020 was the year that a lot of Filipinos or even OFWs lost their jobs. 2020 would have been the year where a lot of people that were planning to buy houses, hindi na sila nakabili kasi nagtitipid sila or because may uncertainty or because humina yung kita ng paninda nila or humina kita ng source of income nila. Sige, let muna ulit tayo. Huwag muna tayo bumili this year. It could have been also na yung mga nawalan ng trabaho, yung mga OFWs na hindi nakapadala na ng pera. Baka some of them were not able to pay their amortization. And that would have been something that would have been scary for pag-ibig. However, in 2020, pag-ibig made 31.18% billion pesos. That's massive. But above and beyond that, in the midst of the pandemic, Pag-ibig declared 93.68% earnings, which is higher than their charter, which is massively higher than what they've ever done in their entire 
history. So let that sink in. At the time where listed companies were slashing their dividends, at the time when everyone was trying to reward people less, Pag-ibig made its greatest effort to actually reward people. In the greatest pandemic recession that we've ever seen in the Philippines, where a large chunk of our economy was shut down, Pag-ibig still made north of 30 plus billion pesos, gave the most that they've ever given. If that's not a shout out to its stability, how can you beat that? Pag-ibig MP2 gave 6.12% net already. Meaning, if you are investing in a bond, that's equivalent to more than 7 plus percent of getting a bond because a bond has taxes, preferred shares has taxes as well. But it surprises me that not a lot of people know about this. Not a lot of people are investing in this. And if you want safety, this is something that's amazing. I know it's not for everyone because there are a lot of people who are like me that like risk, like the volatility, like crypto, like stocks. There's a lot more people that want safety that actually don't want to do fundamental analysis, that don't want to do the deep dives in studying the technology in the cryptocurrency market, which I believe still crypto is the future. But if you want safety, Pagibig MP2 will get you there. I like what they're doing that you have to lock in your money for five years. That's amazing. Why? Problem for all of us is that when you put your money in, and gumastos eh. And I think this is a mechanism, this is a way for you that when you lock it in, you forget about it. And I want to challenge all of you, if this is something that's appealing to all of you, and gusto nyo mag-invest sa pag-ibig MP2 after 5 years, huwag nyo tanggalin yung pera. Kunin nyo, open kayo panibago, and then start stacking again. The rules that I've mentioned for accumulation and stacking for cryptocurrencies and stocks, do it also for pag-ibig MP2. Stack it. Of course, it's not going to give you massive returns as compared to stocks or cryptocurrencies but it removes the volatility it removes the fact that you don't have to study large amounts of time because isa lang yung product eh mp2 lang eh. you don't have to pick ano ba bibilin ko apple ba tesla ba paypal ba coca cola ba ayala corp ba bitcoin ba ethereum ba bnb ba you skip all of that eh if you're a person that values safety Go for pag-ibig MP2. Nahirapan kang mag-save and invest. Force yourself to save on a monthly basis and forget about it. And if you want something that will give you a higher return than savings accounts and a lot of the bonds, pag-ibig MP2 will work. Pag-ibig MP2 is interesting. And not just that, eh. you're actually helping out other Filipinos na gusto magkaroon ng bahay. It's not just anymore you earning for yourself. It has a multiplier effect that you actually help more people get houses. And I just want to end it with this, that since it's a very, very safe investment, since the returns are consistent and good, but not as massive as what you will get on cryptocurrencies or the stock market, the name of the game is volume. Don't be satisfied by putting the minimum. Don't be satisfied by just putting 1,000 pesos. If you have 1,000 right now, that's amazing. I salute you. That's very, very honorable. But every time you earn more, commission, bonus, 13-month pay, anything that's extra, double down on that. Every time na may sobra kayo, dagdagan nyo. Every time ma-promote kayo, dagdagan nyo. Make it a challenge to fund your dreams more. Make it a challenge to put in and to double down and build that base for you. Because I'll say this to you over and over. June 2021, you will look back at this time 10 years from now. One of your biggest regrets would be is I should have invested more. I should have saved more. Because if there's one thing I do know about investing, and I've been saying this over and over, time is your greatest asset. Time is one of the greatest things that if you do it properly, you use it properly, and you deploy it properly, you will win. So I hope you got this. But please do remember, no matter how much I talk about Pagbibig MP2, don't just buy it. Don't just invest in it just because I talk about it. This is not financial advice. This is information. This is me sharing my conviction to all of you. Please take the time to study. Please take the time to learn. Because there's really no agenda here. I just really want to educate you that you learn the most. That it's time that we uplift our lives. Eh? And that's why this channel has always been about uplifting people. It always has been about bringing people up. This channel has been always about elevating the status quo. Because I believe in you. I believe that if I can influence 265,000 people who will earn better, 
live better and not just have money but have the right values attached to it, then we're seeing 265,000 people strong that are making a difference, that have prosperity with a purpose. So I hope you guys got a lot from this. If you're new to this channel, my name is Marvin Germo. I'm a stock market trader and investor. And I have made a variety of books about investing in the stock market. So if you want to know more about the books that I've written, check it out in National Bookstore. Check it out in the description below where it's available via Shopee and Lazada as well. Or if you want to learn via the seminars that I have, I have a seminar with Sean C. It's called Make Money, Grow Money. It's the basics of the stock market. You can check that out below. Or if you want to join a live Zoom class about trading the markets, that's happening in the middle of July, two weekends, four days, four half-day sessions where we talk about the basics, how you can use technical analysis to trade Philippine stocks, U.S. stocks, and the cryptocurrency market. And if you want to invest in U.S. stocks for $1, in the description below, you can actually try GoTrade. It gives you the ability to buy Coca-Cola stock, Apple stock for one U.S. dollar alone. And if you want to also invest in cryptocurrencies, we have Binance. It gives you the ability also to buy Bitcoin for 10 US dollars only. You can download it right now from your phone. Lastly, for those who want to trade Forex markets, we have XM. And right now, they also have a promo. Every time you open an account, you get 30 US dollars extra for you that you can use for your trading. But not just that, up until the end of June, XM has a promo that if you deposit, 300 US dollars, 200 US dollars, 100 US dollars, up to 500 US dollars, they will match that. Meaning, if you put 400, they will match that with 400 also, which you can use for your trading. So that extra amount will go into your equity that can be added every time you start trading. So those are options for you. But EBMP2, US stocks, cryptocurrencies, and Forex. But if you want the safe route, Pagibig MP2 is the way to go. So there, I hope you got a lot from this. I hope that this is something that's helpful. I hope that this is something that's insightful. And I really do hope that above and beyond you learning from this, I hope you execute. Kasi sayang if you don't actually invest, kahit nood kayo nanood dito, na-entertain lang kayo. It doesn't really affect your life. And I want this channel to affect your life for the good. So that's it for now. This is Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon, guys. And God bless you all.